In this problem, we are using something called box and whisker plots to look at two different data sets. A box and whisker plot is pretty cool. It tells you an awful lot about a data set. The smallest value is going to be this point down here at the end at, at the tail on the left. And the largest number is going to be this point here uh, on the tail on the right. And you've got a number line on the bottom to tell you exactly what those values were. So if you wanted to know the smallest value here, you could go down to the number line and, and that looks like it would be 67. Uh, box and whisker plots are also broken up into four chunks. So you've got this tail and this tail, and then you've got two sections of the box. These four chunks are the quartiles. So you break the data set down into groups of four. Um, so a fourth of the data points here, a fourth of the data points here, a fourth of the data points here, and a fourth of the data points here. The line in the middle is going to be your median. So that's the middle value. And so if you want to find the median, just take that line and go down and find the number on the graph. So there's one other thing that um, we have when we have a box and whisker plot, and that's called an interquartile range. That's the length of the box part. So you've got the first, the second, the third, and the fourth quartile. The second and third quartile, that range, that's called the interquartile range. All right, let's see if we can answer some questions based on, on this graph here. Uh, which city had the larger median noon temperature? So on top, we've got city A. On the bottom, we've got city B. And this is temperature in Fahrenheit. So which had the larger median noon temperature? The median is that line in the middle of the box. So clearly, this line here is greater. That's 84. This one's only 80. So that's city A. The next one says, which city had a smaller range of noon temperatures. So the range, not the interquartile range this time, but the range is from the smallest to the greatest. So whichever one of these is shorter is going to have a smaller range. And clearly, this one is shorter. So city B has a little bit lower temperature. It also has a less of a range. So it doesn't quite get as cold, and it doesn't get as hot. So this city B has the smaller range of noon temperatures. All right. And the next one says, which city had the highest noon temperatures, you'd go out to find the, the, the highest point. And the highest point on city A is much higher here. City B only got up to 84. City A got up to 90. So that's A that's got the highest. And finally, it says, which city had noon temperatures with a larger interquartile range? A larger interquartile range, that means which one had the larger box part of your box and whisker. And that, again, is city A. It's got the largest range and the largest interquartile range. So that is a little bit of work with box and whisker plots.